What's up, you guys? So I want to do updates on CapCut, which they are literally turn, turning that into a paid app. Like, what the fuck? Why would you turn a free editing app into a paid app? The wrong way that they make their move. Six dollars a month. Would you believe that's fucking bullshit? Six dollars. Per month. Are you fucking kidding me? Six dollars per month. Even when it says five ninety nine a month, but still six dollars per month just to use cap cut, which I've been using that for the past nine months. And then they decided to pull something out of their sleeves and throw us a goddamn paywall. A $6 paywall per month. I mean, it's getting so fucking aggravating. Throwing us those goddamn ridiculous paywalls that we forced to create an account and then be forced to get out our freaking debit cards or, or our credit cards to, to pay just to get that service. That's the most dumbest move that cap cut that cap that cap cut even made. They made the wrong move at the wrong time. Not even close to be a year since I've been using that the editing app. And then they fucking decided to turn that into a paid app. The editing app. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. That is fucking bullshit. It's nothing but a fucking cash grab. It's what it is. Nothing but a goddamn cash grab. It's all they care is about the fucking money to hell with us. What in the hell... What I'm supposed to do now. If I can't use that app unless I pay for that for six dollars ninety I mean five ninety I mean five dollars ninety nine cents. I'm pretty sure there's I'm pretty sure there's tax on that as well. Fucking tax. Fuck taxes. Fuck paying monthly subscription. I mean fuck the the f- subscription based platforms, which I fucking hate that shit because you gotta pay. You gotta pay for that. You gotta pay that for a month. I mean, you gotta pay that every month, which is bu- fucking bullshit. Fuck that shit. They can take that shit and jam it up their ass. Take a look at Kinemaster. The prices have gone up through the fucking ceiling. Fuck that shit. Why are the prices going up on those subscription-based platforms like Netflix, Disney Plus? Ooh, Dancing with the Stars, only on Disney Plus. 
why is it on Disney Plus? But normally Dancing with the Stars, usually broadcasting on Monday and Tuesday nights, it's usually on ABC, not Disney. It's supposed to be on ABC, not Disney. That show belongs to ABC, not fucking Disney Plus. I'm getting sick and tired of these free editing apps turned into a paid app that we're forced to pay. Who the hell's coming up with that shit? All they care is about the fucking money. Money, money, money. It's what it is. Fuck money. Money is the things that we spend. We buy stuff with. We just don't like it just for the money. But the raising prices, oh my fucking God. The raising prices is pain in the ass. We got to deal with all that shit. And it's getting to the point that the economy is about to collapse. Fuck that. Fuck paying monthly subscriptions. Why can't it be a one-time payment? Instead of a monthly subscription. I mean, what kind of fucking shit is that? Even Kingdom Master is pretty expensive. You buy, you buy that for like a month or... You, you probably have to pay that for a month. Why can't it be a one-time payment? Like a lifetime payment. Like you pay that once and you have that app forever. I mean, pretty much for, for a lifetime. But no, they got to do that monthly. I mean, they got to make us pay that monthly. That's... Bullshit. Why they have to make us pay that shit? <clears throat> you mean, I am running out of options that I try to edit the videos, what I make. Because they got the fucking balls to put a paywall in front of... Of that app. That is bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. With that shit. Do not throw another fucking paywall. At any other editing app. You stupid ass greedy scums. Another thing that makes me upset, so YouTube's coming up with the changes, with the monetization thing, for shorts, just to, just to get monetized, try to, either way to get monetized, if you have shorts, the public, the valid public short, shorts views, 10 million views for the last 90 days. How is that even possible? How is even, how is that even possible? That 
had those people who make shorts with the 90 days with 10 million views within 90 days? 90 days? How is that even possible? with the 90 days. That's literally impossible. How the fuck can you make 10 million views with the 90 days? How is that even possible that those short videos can make that many views? That's right, shorts video. If I was YouTube, I would lower the threshold or get rid of this stupid thing, the threshold thing. 4,000 watch time hours with a new year, which is nearly impossible. 10,000, it's not 10,000, 10 million views. 10 million public, public views. Within 90 days to get monetized. How is that even possible? I think it's impossible to do that shit. And how does people make shorts with that many views? That's right. YouTube shorts. I wish YouTube shorts never existed. It's one thing that YouTube made a major mistake. 10 million views within 90 days. That's not even enough time. It will take more than 90 days to get to million, 10 million views. That's going to take years and years and years, and it's going to take a lot of grind and grind and grind to make that happen. And it's literally slim. It's literally not even possible. It's like, it's impossible. YouTube loves to do things to make things impossible to do. 10 million views for 90 days. For, for the last 90 days. How in the fuck that, that those YouTube channels will come up with the shorts, YouTube shorts, with 10 million views within three months? How is that even possible? YouTube loves to make, YouTube loves to make everything impossible. The thing is... They need to get rid of the thresholds within a time limit. Number one, YouTube should get rid of the 4,000 watch time hours within one year. Get rid of the word one, I mean, get rid of the, for the last 12 months. For the, for 10 million views within 90 days, get rid of 90 days. Why can't they consider it lifetime shorts views and then lifetime watch time hours? Why is everything time consuming? How can you make, how in the fuck can you get to that threshold? Before the time's up. 
That is impossible. YouTube is thinking this the wrong way. Fuck YouTube and their fucking new fucking shit that they come up with. Fuck that shit. Fucking hate that shit. Ten million public shorts views. In 90 days. How is that even possible to make that many views? They said it will make it easier. Oh, bullshit. It made it a lot more difficult. Starting in 2023, beginning of 2023. They'll start doing that shit. <clears throat> 4,000 watch time hours worth, I mean, 4,000 watch time hours within a year, which is impossible to do. 10 million views, the, the valid public shorts views. How the fuck can you get them, pull that in 90 days? 90 fucking days. That's three months. How is that even possible? How is that even possible? Fucking bullshit. YouTube shorts. I mean, I don't mind making YouTube shorts, but I only made one YouTube short. And it's hard to pull views from those YouTube shorts and regular videos and live streams. Because the algorithm is literally refusing to pick up, to, to pull views from, I mean, to, to make the videos pull views. It's ridiculous. Clean views. With the 10, I mean, 10 million views within, so 10 million views within 90 days. Let me go back to CapCut, which they trying to turn that into a fucking pay, the pay thing, whatever that is. The CapCut becomes a paid app, which I, that takes me off. It if it, it, it pisses me off. It pisses me. I really wish this was. It pisses me off because they throw into a fucking paywall. What they do, I mean, they throw paywall at us, and I was like, "No, this is ridiculous. Why pay five ninety nine a month? This is a cash grab." I've been using this CapCut app since December of twenty twenty one, and they decided to turn it into a paid app. I'm disappointed and I'm disgusted about it. I am not paying five ninety nine per month just to use that cap cut app. This is fucking bullshit. <clears throat> for cap cut cloud space for a dollar ninety nine for just one dollar ninety nine cents a month for for one month. Kepka Cloud Space a dollar I mean five dollars ninety nine cents which I think that's fucking bullshit. Five five dollars ninety nine cents a month. 
That's bullshit. And then $0.99 cents a month. And then $18.99 a year. $6.99 a year. $54.99 a year. What the fuck? It's up with that shit. And then, and then, and then ninety nine cents, and then fifty nine ninety nine. What the fuck? Fifty nine ninety nine for what? And then ninety nine cents. I mean ninety. I mean nine dollars ninety nine cents, and then a dollar ninety nine. We're like, what the fuck? Why? Either posting. A fucking paywall into our fucking faces. That's what they want is money coming out of our asses. That's what they want. Money that's coming out of our asses just to use their service. Why putting a paywall on a free editing app? Why, why Cap, why, why Cap Cut, why do you have to do your, why do you have to do, why do you have to do your stupid move in the wrong way? From free to five ninety nine a month. That is fucking bullshit. Fuck fees. Fuck these stupid monthly fees that you're trying to ram in our fucking asses. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to ram in our fucking asses. Probably VN will probably will do that. We'll do the same thing like CapCut. I've been using CapCut for nine months. And they got a fucking kahunis and balls to put a six dollar a month paywall in our fucking faces. Fuck that shit. Fuck paying those monthly subscriptions. We are wasting our money just to have that service. For an example, Paramount Plus, Netflix, Discovery Plus, Disney Plus. I'm trying to think of the others. YouTube Premium. <clears throat> and we have YouTube memberships. The, the YouTube membership fees, I mean, the YouTube member only streams, oh my God, I can't stand that. The membership videos and the membership streams. Why don't you see they'll come up with membership, then no. why don't you see that YouTube will come up with Members only YouTube shorts. Watch you see they'll come up with that shit. How ridiculous I mean how ridiculous that is. <clears throat> Why putting a paywall on any editing app that is free? And you turn it into a paid version. Maintain four thousand watch time hours. Within a year, and then maintain one. I mean, so we're so another thing we try to maintain. So I know we have to be at one thousand subscribers to 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 get monetized. 
but why? I see, I see ads on the channel that is under 1K. That has ads on that on those videos. Like what the fuck? I mean, what's up with that shit? That's what I want to know. What is up with that shit? I see ads on the videos that are not even monetized. Little as two subscribers. That's right, two subscribers or even one subscriber. That's fucking... A one subscriber YouTube channel has ads. Like, what the fuck? Makes no fucking sense. It makes no sense. The other thing that makes no sense. YouTube is getting, so YouTube is kicking the hard, hard working, organic YouTube channels. They are kicking them off the partner program, the monetization, which I still see, see YouTube doing that for the bogus excuse. I wish there was a way to come to a stop on that. I like to put my foot down on that. That's what I would do is put my foot down on that. Why is YouTube demonetizing these hardworking channels? They didn't do anything wrong. They never violated the terms of service. And, uh, and they never violated anything. But why are they still getting punished? Why are... These hard-working channels getting punished. How their algorithms fucking work. They work in a shitty way. They come up, when, they, when they come up with new algorithms, it, it, it comes... When they come up with new algorithms, their, their algorithm is fucking worse and it's fucking garbage what it is it's garbage the algorithms on YouTube is garbage refusing to pick up views on the videos that people are making I mean recommending the videos the algorithm is the algorithm on YouTube is refusing to recommend the small channels videos and it's fucking ridiculous all the care is about the videos that are on the big channels that has lots of views we're us small content creators we we're the ones are getting with so we're the ones are getting thrown under a bus Kicking those small channels off the monetization club, which I think that's fucking bullshit. Fuck YouTube for that shit. They take back those achievements that those small content creators earn, like monetization, 4,000 watch time hours. The, the view count goal, the subscriber count goal. YouTube loves taking everything like that back. That those content creators worked for. And they spent time editing the videos. And stuff like that. And YouTube doesn't have the fucking balls. To respect those content creators. It's not fair for the small content creators. It's not. 
It's not fair for the content creators. Because they're the ones that are getting their achievements taken back from those content, I mean, those stupid cock suckers, that's right, YouTube and Google, because they, they're the ones, they love taking everything back that, that people achieve. They love pulling people back from the thresholds, which I think that's bullshit. I can't fucking stand that shit. Why is YouTube doing that in the fucking first place? I wish YouTube could not get the hell off of that shit. Taking back the achievements that those smart content creators earn. That's bullshit. YouTube needs to not get the fuck off of that shit. And these smart content creators will not tolerate that bullshit. Like that is unacceptable. That should not be allowed on the platform. Why YouTube and Google taking back those milestones that they've earned and deserve. All YouTube cares about the fucking money to themselves as they make money from our videos. Depends on how many views we get on our, our on our videos. The next thing, in the way of the the algorithm, they refuse to recommend my videos. I mean, recommend the sponsors' videos. That's how fucked up the YouTube's algorithms are because they're. I mean, the whole entire fucking platform, like I said. It's fucking rigged. The whole YouTube platform is rigged. Since day one. Make sure you subscribe for some new content. This is your boy, TCDOX, signing out. Peace.